leading pilgrimages through India, or giving blessings around the world, Sri Ma conveys the same divine inspiration. Deepak Chopra describes Sri Ma as the elegance of simplicity. The 217-year-old Ram Nathagori Baba called her a pure example of truth in the Kali Age. And Swami Vishnu Deva Vairagi said, Sri Ma is the real thing. Sri Ma is coming to share her pure love and she is a lot of fun. On the 9 o'clock news, Florida certifies the vote recount. And now George W. Bush prepares to serve as America's next president. Straight ahead on the 9 o'clock news, after years of struggle, the Hindu community gets a new temple in the East Bay. Live from Bay TV, this is the 9 o'clock news. There's a new and unique place to worship in Vallejo. In a sign of that city's growing diversity, Vallejo is now home to the only Hindu temple for miles around. The Indian community it serves has been waiting for a long time for their own place of worship. Isabel Duran reports. The temple dedication lasted all morning, led by the holy priest, Swami Satyananda. The statue of Durga Mata, brought from India, bathed, dressed, and given power. Sword in hand, she is the conqueror of evil. The dozens of families that poured into the new Vallejo Hindu temple, just outside the Vallejo city limits, have waited five years for this day. We used to travel a long, long way before, to we'll go to different, different locations for the worships. Mm -hmm. But now we have our own temple here. It's the first Hindu temple in all of Solano County. The 600 Indian families had to travel to Sacramento, San Leandro, even Fremont to worship. The community raised $260,000 to buy up this former church site. Now they can spend more time in temple than on the road. Hinduism is the third largest world religion after Catholicism and Islam. Sizable numbers of Hindu live in the Bay Area. More and more have migrated to Solano County. The Indian community is an added sign of Vallejo's growing diversity. Sri Ma was born in the foothills of the Himalayas with full God consciousness from her birth. From her childhood, it was hard for her to understand that everyone was not so gifted as to have samadhi complete absorption in mystical trance, like she had any time she sat to meditate. So, as a young girl, she walked off alone into the solitude of the mountains in order to perform austerities. And over the years, she became a legend across the north of India. Swamiji crossed the length and breadth of the Himalayas on foot and performed spiritual practices in the cremation grounds at Banaras for several years. He is the author of more than two dozen books in a half dozen languages, and his translations and commentaries are used in temples in India and studied in universities around the world. Dr. Stephen Clayman of Austin, Texas, described his experience in India. When we got to the temple gate of the sacred Annapurna temple, one of the holiest shrines of the Divine Mother Goddess in the north of India, the priests opened the gate and invited us in because we were with Sri Ma and Swamiji. Even though there is a bold sign above the entrance proclaiming that the admission of foreigners is prohibited. Not only were we allowed into the inner sanctum of the temple, but the priests stepped aside and allowed Sri Ma and Swamiji to perform the worship of the ancient deity themselves. Even though there are numerous signs posted throughout the area and the temple prohibiting all photography, they requested that we video the entire event. Not only did Sri Ma and Swamiji perform the worship, but they requested Swamiji to perform the Arati ceremony in the public worship, as well as the sacred fire ceremony inside the temple. When Swamiji performed the cosmic puja, they broadcast it from loudspeakers on top of the roof of the temple, and you could hear it throughout the city all the way to the banks of the Ganges. When Sri Ma sang at a satsang on the bank of the river, it seemed like the whole city turned out to participate. They are as well loved in North America and Europe as they are from Calcutta to New Delhi. 
they bring a fresh vitality to worship and combine singing and dancing, storytelling, fire ceremonies, and explanations into a joyous learning experience which is inspiring to congregations around the world. I think it's made um, a very big impact. Um, the children here of this community especially are going to be able to benefit from it. Temple leaders hope this burning ceremony to purify the temple is also a lesson for the children who will now be given classes in religion, the Hindi language, and culture. Bhakti Das was a servant in the home of Lakshmi Dan's Trishni, who was the richest merchant in all of Patliputra. In fact, he was the richest man in all the north of India. Everyone knew the name of Lakshmi Dan's Trishti. And Bhakti Das, this devoted servant, he knew that everything the guru had acquired in life was all the blessings from his guru. And every time the guru would come to visit the disciple, Bhakti Das, with the greatest of devotion, would try to put himself in the way of the guru. And he would try to serve her with every capacity at his disposal. And one day, one day the guru was walking to the car, just about to leave. And Bhakti Das, that devoted servant, was carrying her bags. And suddenly there was a moment when they were alone. And Bhakti Das said, Guruji, I know that everything that my master has attained in life is your blessing. He has become the richest man in our city, the richest man in our nation, the wealthiest and most respected man in northern India, all because of your blessings. Would you give me initiation in the mantra that you gave to my master? <laughs> the guru looked with great compassion upon the devoted servant and said, next time. <laughs> And the guru departed. That servant bowed down to the guru and went into his room. Some months later, the guru returned. Lakshmi Dan Sreshti, the master, came running out to greet his guru and after offering the appropriate formalities said, Guruji, what did you do to my servant? The guru said, I didn't do anything to your servant. Well, Guruji, I don't know what you did or didn't do, but the last time you were here was the last time I saw my servant. He went into the servant's quarters, he went into his room, he closed the door, and I haven't seen him since. The guru said, I better look into this. And the guru went back to the servants' quarters, and she went to the room of Bhakti Das, and very quietly she opened the door and saw that devoted servant sitting in samadhi, saying, next time, next time, next time. Everybody who's met Sri Ma remembers their first experience. And uh, I can only say that she's the most incredible being I've ever met. Yeah, I'm giving three things. Pure love, inspiration, and appreciation. These three things keep yourself. I always give my pure love. 
राम प्रसाद बोले दुर्गा बोले जात्री बोशे आची राम प्रसाद बोले वेन आई थिंक अमेरिका दे मेड मी सिंगर because everywhere she goes people fall in love with her last night i had a, a pretty magical experience and i don't know really how to explain that at this point sare gama ri gama ni 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 da pa ma ma ge ni ga ri sa ma shi ra shu it does not mean you are close eyes and sitting one asha you know this uh, i will say it uh, every moment you respect your action everybody has fallen in love and you know how it is when you find out that other person also loves you that much too that's what happened to me and that's what happened to all our members of the band and all the people who travel with us and thousands and thousands of people all around the world and i felt all at once like my head was emptied right through here right to her like she just took all of that stuff away the mother says when you sit under a tree and clap your hands all the birds fly out of the tree When we get together in pop song and clap your hands all the anger and passion and all the confusions of the mind flee away everyone clap your hands It is hard for me also in America because you know some you took me one university to give a lecture and I went to totally beyond myself when I opened my eyes whole hall was empty I always say this word three things we cannot hate one is flower second is a little baby laughing and three third is singing and singing is the highest devotion it melts our heart so many practice we do but if you sing with your devotion you will see who are you you will feel that whole universe is yours